It was rougher and it was unsuccessful. I mean, it's barely 50% of good lifts made so far. This guy's a human anatomy chart. I saw him in the training hall a couple days ago. His back is just unbelievable. Yeah, the Chinese uh, very... The other Chinese man is on the other side. There he is. Su Daojin and Lu Zhaoyun. And those two guys should be well up in the medals now. Nobody else wants 156, so Shramiak's going to have to come out and uh, follow himself. I don't know. He's not looking like a man just uh, brimming with confidence, is he there? No. Well, nobody's looked brimming with confidence so far. Chinese who've been steadily going through their warm-up. Yes, 12 to 7. <laughs> Randy was just counting up the reds on the board. Well, I was actually counting my tips off, but yeah, the, yeah. the ratio sort of reversed. It should be the other, the other yeah. way. Yeah. Right, 45 seconds to put himself momentarily at least into the silver medal possession in the snatch. Oh dear. If you want to make a weightlifting contest slow, uninteresting, almost to the point of painful, what you want to do is you want to have a bunch of people miss lifts one after another. And you can just kind of see the wind go out of everybody's sails. And the lifters are going to look like defeated men. Yeah, but right hey. Now, look who's coming out. Right, I was just about to say, everybody at home, don't desert us. No. Because the real show is about to begin. Olympic champion. Absolutely, Sa Yai Huk of Korea, 26 years of age. He's posted one of the top totals at 370. He weighed in at 76.94. He's amongst the top three or four heaviest weights in the class here. Korea have got a terrific record of good performances in this particular weight class. Yeah. <laughs> Don't write him off. <laughs> I'll make a prediction right now. Whatever position he's in, yeah. when it gets down toward the end of the night, they're going to say one clean and jerk. <clears throat> That'll take to win. And they're going to throw it on the bar for this guy. And he'll go out and he'll try to lift it. Pity he didn't get that overhead. You can see he just didn't quite lock it out. Someone is going to break this pattern, David. We know it, right? Hang in there, everybody. Well, here is uh, Ramzi Balul from Tunisia, whose namesake almost, well, Rami Balul, had a really pretty horrible time in the B group. But here's the main man for Tunisia for tonight anyway. 76 kilos, 93 for the uh, Tunisian. The sixth best in the junior world, but already we've seen a big improvement. A successful first attempt at 153. This is four kilos up for a new personal best. So this would have been a personal record for him, huh? Yeah, I mean, he's young, you know. I mean, he's, you know, you're looking, he's 22, and uh, he's just, you know, moving through. And the first lift there, I mean, his... Previous best was 146 in a competition. Yeah, I'm just sort of surprised that they'd be up that heavy form, relatively speaking, in a second attempt. Obviously, he's a guy who came out confident and he's trying to rouse the crowd. He expected to make that. So the Olympic champion returns at center stage. Didn't have a good time in Goyang on his own home stage in 2009. He only made two out of six lifts, and it cost him because he ended up in fourth place. And he missed out to the Chinese lifter who's in tonight's competition, Su, by uh, body weight.
That's much better. Picture perfect. You know, but just a footnote on that, David, you know, he actually only totaled one kilo less than he did the year before when he won the Olympics. It's just that the Chinese lifter really turned up the heat. I mean, and what would have been, a, you know, a metal lift, a metal performance in the Olympics, what it was basically, became a fourth place performance the next year at the World Championships. And what's going to be interesting when we see the Chinese lifter, Sue, is how he's going to approach and get on with everything, given that last season he bombed out twice in the World Championships and the Asian Games. So here's the Moldavian, Dudoglu. 157 on the bar. Just two kilos, but for me, this would be good, given his poor record of snatching. If he can get this, bit of a bonus. Well, it would have been good, but he didn't. No. Well, one out of three is very much on the money, but he is a better performer in the uh, clean and jerk. So it's going to be the Tunisian to uh, come back in now, and it's going to be Ramzi Balul on 157. And still to start, uh, Su Dajin of uh, China, due to see him at 160. And 165 for Tigran Marjirossi and the defending champion. 165 for Lu Zhaoyun, the world record holder in the snatch. Well, eight seconds to go and just extraordinary. Extraordinary, really just didn't fancy it. And that leaves him on uh, 153. Timed out. Just completely went out of his head. So, have a look at this. That just walks away from it effectively. And the bar has gone up to 158 kilos for the Albanian. This is Pulaku Hisan. And 158 represents the weight collected by Razvan Martin of Romania in the B group. But if Hisan does this, he'll still only go into second place because of being the heavier man of the two. So this to go into silver on his third and final attempt. Never really got under the bar there, and that means that Razvan Martin of the B group for Romania stays in the lead. And now we start to uh, really look at the main contenders. And it's going to be uh, Su Dayin of uh, China. Weighed in at 76.80, so he's lighter than Marty Rossian, who will start at 165. And he's Su Dayin. He is actually heavier than Lu Zhaoyun, the snatch world record holder, who actually also won this title with a total of 378 back in 2009 in Goyang. So Su to go first. Bronze medalist in the World Championships in 2009 when his teammate won it, but he only got 50% of his lifts in there. And as I said a few moments ago, in the Asian Games, very disappointing last year, didn't manage a total. He was all right in the first phase, the snatch, but he came unstuck both in the Asian Games and in the World Championships on the clean and jerk. At his best, you're looking at someone who can lift 165. He needs to be certainly there if he can be. Half a minute, you'll hear the buzzer. There it is. Now, 
That's a little bit more what we were looking for there from Sue. Chinese very sweet on their chances here in this particular weight class. Very little adjustment with the feet. A lot of power, a lot of strength, very good speed. Look at him whiz that bar above his head. Less than a second from floor to above his shoulders and 160 means he's in the gold medal position now. Razvan Martin from the B group drops to second. Currently in bronze is Sa Yai Huk of uh, Korea, the Olympic champion. And uh, it's not going to be uh, Su Dayen. There's uh, the reigning champion, Tigran Martirosian. Not only the world champion, but the European champion last year. And about to, there is the president of the Armenian Olympic Committee. Full of expectation that Tigran can keep the title. And I can tell you there's an enormous Armenian flag. There it is. And a uh, really good pocket of support for the Armenians here. Half a minute, plenty of time. First attempt, 162. Won the world title last year with 173. That's a kilo short of the world record. Starting on, for me, is a pretty modest 162 here. Three kilos lower than he originally posted. Well, time will tell if that was just a very conservative lift to clear the throat and make sure that we get going. And very interesting to see what he puts the bar up to next time around. Marty Rossi is not going to come out for 163. Uh, the customary thing is just to put a kilo on the bar, but it should be Lu Zhao Yun at 165 by my reckoning to come out and indeed it is uh, Lu Zhao Yun the snatch world record holder the world champion in Goyang in 2009 to open his account <laughs> 20 kilo bar those big red discs there 25 kilos apiece <laughs> So, group of Chinese fans as well. So the Armenians have got competition. Oh. Absolutely excellent. Best lift we've seen. One sixty-five, seventy-six kilos forty-five. Just a reminder, he's lighter than the Armenian at seventy-six forty-five, and he's lighter than his teammate. So in that respect, he's got the edge. Really. Feet just absolutely steady, planted, no adjustment. Confident of the weight. And now we go to Korea, the bar goes to 165. Now, this is only for second place. He's currently down in fifth place, but this would move the Olympic champion up into the medals, but only into second place because he's heavier than Lu of China. But he went away from the bar and uh, never really got under it at all. 
and the 165 brings to an end. It leaves him on 157. And 166 is what Sue would like here. And again, now the cat and mouse game begins between Sue of China, Marty Rossian of Armenia, and Liu of China. So all three men have got two cards apiece. And it's this man, Sue, to put down the first challenge. Six kilo increase for him. Nice and steady in that bottom position. Good drive up there and secures the three white lights from the judges. So from third into first place. So although Marty Rossin is lighter, he's decided just to take the four kilo increase to put him on to one six six. So tabbing and keeping pace with Sue of China. I can tell you that Liu has actually put the bar, was proposed 170. So he's quite happy for his teammate and this man to lift out, so it seems, before he comes in for his second attempt. and answered. Marty Rossian equal now with Sue in terms of kilos lifted. He's now ahead of where he was in Europe last year, but he's still at 166, seven kilos off his best performance in winning the world title. So where do we go now? 168, Sue has asked for on the bar. Marty Rossian has not yet declared, and it is 168. So Liu of China, who has 165, just waiting in the wings. He, the Snatch World record holder, I just wonder whether if the other two lift out and he gets 170, then will he have a go and try and get the Snatch World record increased, his own record? Maybe put a kilo on and go for 175. That's the uh, technical controller for the evening, the man from Israel, Shimon. Just making sure that everything is correct and in order before the lifters go on stage. Shimon Barak. Well, he doesn't get 168. He's still in the gold medal position, but the door is now open for Marty Rossian to go and take the same weight and go into the lead and guarantee himself at least a silver medal. And that looks to be the name of the game. Marty Rossian playing the long game, so to speak, in as much that needs to stay close as he can to the action and then try to power up in the second half of the competition, the clean and jerk, where he's going to go for like 200 kilos, but Lou can match him on that as well. So bit of cat and mouse, but he needs to make this. He's got to assume that Liu will make 170 on his second attempt and could go even further away. But what he'll be hoping is that he can get this, and even if Liu gets the 170 on his second attempt, that's where he'll end up, and it'll only be two kilos adrift. 
at this moment, his destiny is in his own hands. After this lift, it all goes over to Lou. Well, you could see how rough it was there, and then his hips were behind, and he tried to duck walk to get back underneath it, but he couldn't do it. And that actually leaves uh, Mardi Rossian 166. Now he weighed in at 76.99, and that means that Sue is leading at the moment on 166 with the lighter body weight. So the defending champion in a bit of trouble and now could be in more trouble over the next three or four minutes if Lou can lift the 170 and then some. Lou, the Asian champion this season, so he's in good form. He, in that competition, only made three out of six. He didn't have to push himself, but it was a really good warm-up competition for him. Went 160, 192 for 352. Today, he's looking for 370 to take the title. And as I said, a couple of years ago, 378, he won this championship with in Korea. So all is possible for him. Locks on the snatch with that wider grip, almost out to the extension of the body. Oh, oh dear. So the world record holder ain't going to be going for any world records now. He's got to get this. If he gets it, he gets a four kilo pull and body weight over his nearest two rivals. He has one minute and 57 seconds in which to try again. Bit of a shock there. Don't think anybody was expecting that. I think they all expected him to lift 170. That world record, by the way, wasn't set last year in the World Championships. It was set in Goyang. In terms of clean and jerk, in Goyang, he lifted uh, 204 to win the title last year in the World's 200. And Marty Rossian... Marty Rossian had 200 as well, but he had much the better snatch last year, 173. Well, a minute to come back onto the stage so he can be as meticulous as he likes. Right, job to be done. So this for the lead, this for the gold in the snatch. Final lift of the first half. That's what champions are made of. Puts it right, uses that third attempt, wins the gold medal, goes four kilos clear, and China find themselves in gold and silver with the defending champion from Armenia in bronze at the halfway stage. Between the three of them, four kilos, but the body weight advantage also goes to this man. Millimetre perfect, good drive up, feet just slightly wider apart on this third attempt, but really good lift. So about 10 minutes now, a little bit less than that already to get ready for the clean and jerk. In fourth place, Razvan Martin from Romania from the B group, all the way up into fourth place on the ranking as you'll see in a few moments 158 he had so he was some way off the 166 of the men in second and third but nonetheless a competition certainly of 
two parts when we focus and concentrate on the clean and jerk. And for Marty Rossi and the defending champion, work to do, as you can see. Two out of three on 170, four kilo advantage there over Sue. Also, likewise, over Marty Rossi, who loses that silver medal because of the heavier body weight. Razvan Martin from the B group, three really good lifts to earn fourth place in the ranking, excellent. And the Olympic champion, only fifth.